Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabub.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to our daily Facebook Live. I've been having so much fun with this, you guys. I'm so glad that everybody's joining me and really enjoying um, the daily lives also. I get a lot of comments from that and it's pretty cool. So I'm happy to be here. Oh, I didn't change my glasses. We've got Kathy. Haley just popped in. And Melinda, Rhonda, Haley just got done with the doctor's appointment and she's really not any closer to giving birth to my granddaughter. I have to say that um, you need to get a move on child because I am tired of this pregnancy. <laughs> I'm not even dealing with all the things. <laughs> and of course, you know, I'm just kidding. That baby, like somebody said, that baby's cooking. I want that baby to come out good and healthy and... Uh, yeah, that's the most important part. <laughs> Hi, Melissa. Hi, Leanna. Hi, Raylene. Welcome. Gerilyn, we have Gerilyn here. Yeah, so Haley had a doctor's appointment. She's not making a heck of a lot of progress with the birth and thing, and uh, she's pretty tired of it. <laughs> Char says, one more day. Char picked the 17th, and we did hear today that... Um, our governor has canceled school for the rest of the year. I got a Snapchat from my granddaughter, Molly Jo, saying that this coronavirus, which are with a really few, really cute Snapchat filter, this coronavirus is ruining my life. So that was kind of funny. <laughs> it's not funny, but you know, it was funny. So yeah, it's kind of ruining everybody's lives. And um, yeah, there's not much to say. We just got to keep plugging along, right? We got to keep plugging along and keep our attitude positive and get your closets and your cupboards cleaned out. And I know the garbage men are like doing double, double, triple work because all of the cans on our street are full every week because people are cleaning out all the junk. I know my husband has been doing that. And uh, funny story. He just came in here a few minutes ago, you guys. And he was like, really like, Rrr. and I, and I'm like, what's going on? And he said, I have been sitting in my car for the last hour trying to pair my phone with my system or whatever. And I just, I can't get it. And so in order to do it, you have to talk to it. So I'm talking to my car and it's not working. And he said that the guy... The guy that owned the car before he did, his phone is in there. And I'm like, well, did you call him and ask him how he did it? He said, no, that's weird. And can you see my husband sitting out in the car, like talking to the car and yelling at it and whatever else he's doing, <laughs> trying to get his phone to pair with this car. Ugh. I have never, ever, ever in my life had a vehicle new enough to do something like that. Not, um, I was just impressed with power windows and power locks. Like that really flipped my switch. <laughs> power seats, ooh, that's cool. But yeah, I never had anything that fancy. And, and you guys know I got rid of my Explorer, so I don't even have a vehicle anymore and I could care less at this point. <laughs> so, oh, Gerilyn says they only have garbage pickup every two weeks. We still have garbage pickup every week. And they actually came and got all of our brush that they said they weren't gonna pick up anymore, but they actually did. So yeah, that was um, nice. Steve's got the wood pile all beautiful. He's rearranged it two or three times now. <laughs> and this morning he's got his whole gym set up out in the garage and he built the stand for his weights and he's got one of those giant balls that you, I don't know, sit on, roll around on. I'm not quite sure what you do with it because I just, I don't do things like that. <laughs> And he told me this morning that he, he's got this giant wrench. It's like a wrench and it's this big and it weighs like, I don't know how many pounds. It's huge, but he uses it to, you know, do exercises with, I don't know. And uh, he said this morning he was sitting on the ball with the wrench and he went to get off of it and it turned sideways and he fell off his ball. <laughs> like, sounds like a personal problem to me. <laughs> we laughed and laughed and I said... I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> and then um, he took me out and showed me his wood pile that he restacked for like the third time. And I'm like, oh, well, that looks good. I thought you said you split it all. And, and he said, well, you can't split that over there. It's too green. 
And I looked at him, I'm like, well, I don't know anything about wood. How would I know about wood? And then we laughed and laughed about that. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a good day. I'm glad he's in a laughing mood because when he's not in a laughing mood, he gets a little crabby. And I don't like crabby Steve. Nobody likes crabby Steve. Yeah. So anyways, it was a good day. Um, we were busy all day. I got... Let's see, about 25 thank you cards out the door today, so that was good. I'm still working on them. I still have a huge pile of labels, and but I'm getting there. And Haley worked all day to make the most amazing, beautiful card for you guys. Oh my gosh. It's to die for. Like, it's, it's over the top. This is an over the top. My friend Lori would call this a 20-pound card, and it is. It's really outstanding and beautiful. I did get some mail today. Hang on, things are falling off of things. Let me get a piece of tape on here because I don't want to lose who my winner is. Um, I did get a couple cards in the mail today. Really pretty card from Chris Wood. Look at how pretty that is. I was looking at this going, ooh, I can make this for thank you cards because it's really nice. And um, on the inside, she decorated it. I can't thank you enough. And then Chris says... Dear Kelly, I received my wild rose dyes. Chris won the wild rose dyes in the mail today. Thank you so much. I really enjoy your videos. With all of this COVID-19 stuff going on, you are the highlight of my day. I don't understand people get, oh, well, man, getting mad at me because I talk too much. I don't care. Oh, hang on. I didn't plug my phone in and I've got a low battery notice here. Let me make sure that we're plugged in. didn't hit my crown. Sometimes my cord comes unplugged under my desk. So anyways, um, I don't know what I was talking about, but I'll go back to Chris's letter here. Oh, I know. Sometimes people don't like that I talk too much on my, on my videos. Like right now, I'm like taking up a lot of time talking. They just want me to get to the stamping. We don't care, do we? <laughs> we don't care what they want. We're going to talk, we're going to chat, we're going to have a good time here because this isn't just all about the stamping. It's about a community getting together and spending some time doing something that we love and chit-chatting. That's what we do. So, anyways, um, Chris says, um, I hope, oh, she says, you are so talented. I hope someday I can be as good at cards as you. Stop it. This is beautiful. And until then, I will just keep watching and learning. Enjoy that new baby girl that is on the way. How exciting. She's never coming. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Again, um, thanks for the dyes, your video friend, Chris. Chris, thank you so much. What a sweet, sweet letter. And a beautiful card. Love that. I also got, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Mary Emilio sent me and Mary if you're watching I don't know if you popped in here or not but please let me know if there's any postage due on the big kit that you um, won so I challenged my team you guys to do a Facebook live and um, I wanted everybody to come on do a Facebook live in our private group and everybody that did that introducing themselves and you know telling so I had some things for them to tell us like you know, um, where you're from and who your team leader is and things like that. And it was really fun and neat because I want to get to know people and a lot of people join my team from all over the country. So it's very possible that I have never met these people and I want to get to know them a little bit. And by seeing them live like this, you kind of get to feel out their personality a little bit and I really like it. But anyways, so I challenged my team Everybody who did a Facebook Live introducing themselves on our private group were entered to win this gorgeous medley. And this is the Botanical Prince product medley. It's on page 61 in the Spring Mini Catalog. It is $70 and it comes with everything um, to make like a ton of cards. I don't even know. But that's what Mary won. So she won the medley for doing her Facebook Live. Now, Mary, if there's any postage due on your package, please let me know because I put it in a box. I didn't want to go to the post office. I have a little scale over here, so I, I weighed it and measured it, and I used my PayPal postage, but it just didn't seem like there was enough postage on it. So if there's anything due, let me know, and I will get that off to you. I don't, I don't want to send stuff where you got to pay for postage. That's kind of crappy, right? Anyways, Mary made this cute card. Now look at, boom. We've got a wobbler under that bunny. <laughs> I 
I love wobblers. Um, and the inside is decorated too. Very good, Mary. It says, hi, Kelly. Thank you for all the cards you have shown us. And hang on. And for the get well card, you made my day. Happy Easter to you and your family. Love, Mary. And how sweet is that? I love that. And let's play with that one more time because I love them. <laughs> they just make me happy. Oh, hang on. I just dropped Chris's card. I don't want to run it over. Sometimes I drop things on the floor and I have um, wheels on my chair and I'll run it over and it totally wrecks it. And that makes me so mad. Usually it's not cards though. So that's good. I'm going to just set these right back here. We have a winner from our Facebook live yesterday. I have a whole pack of Whisper White cards and envelopes. Um, these are note cards. You get 20 of them in a pack with 20 envelopes. They're scored, these are the note card part, and they're scored, you fold them in half and you can make cards out of them. This is a really quick and easy way to make some little note cards. And what I kinda like to do with these is make like a generic card that just has a hello on the front with some images, maybe some designer paper, you could put a die on it, a piece of ribbon, whatever. But I like to just make those and just have them. And I will leave them in a little box over to the side so when I need to write a note to somebody, I can grab those and use them. And again, having them cut and scored with envelopes that, um, the envelopes are only this big, okay, which is different from a regular card size. And I just like making them up for generic cards that I can just write a note in and send off to somebody. So these are really cool. Anyways, back to our winner is Joanne Porter. Joanne, congratulations. I will be getting these out in the mail to you. Everybody else, your prizes are all, I don't have any prizes sitting around here that haven't been mailed yet. So if they're not to you yet, they're on their way. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I found this today on my shelf. <laughs> and it's got jelly beans in it. And they're the really good ones. So if Terry's on here, Haley's been eating the sour patches that you sent her. And she better not be eating mine. Nope. Mine is still over there. I'm saving it for movie night. So, my daughter told me today that she has never seen the movie Why Him. Now, the movie Why Him is probably my all-time favorite movie. I've probably watched it about eight times. And I don't watch movies over and over again. The Hangover used to be my favorite movie just because it's hysterical. Why Him is funnier than The Hangover. Very inappropriate language. I just have to tell you that. So if you don't like inappropriate language, it is definitely not for you. But talk about funny. So I found out today that Haley has never seen that movie. And she said she doesn't think Jared has either. So the next movie night we have, we're watching Why Him. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. I am going to bring you up on my screen so I can see your comments coming in. I better mute myself so we don't want to hear me twice. That would be totally annoying. Also, the other thing I did today is I had a little trial run with my team members because we're having our first Zoom meeting on Sunday since we can't get together. I usually get together at a location nearby. Everybody who's local can come and those that aren't local or can't make it can watch on Facebook Live just like you guys are watching me, but we can't get together this month. So, I decided to switch over to Zoom. So today I had a little trial session with Zoom, having everybody who was a little unsure about it come in at a certain time so I can tell them all about Zoom and we can figure it out before the meeting Sunday. So that was kind of fun. I had some people on there that I had never Zoomed with. <laughs> so that was cool. Yeah, so um, I've got you up on my screen now. Randy says she's never heard of it. Well, like I said, the language is pretty inappropriate. So if that's not your thing, don't watch it. But I'm married to construction worker. <laughs> you know how that goes, right? My father was a truck driver. So you're not gonna get much past me in the way of inappropriate things. But I really do like the movie. It is hysterically funny. Okay, I've got you up on my screen. I'm going to put my remotes away. I was watching Netflix. I just started watching Mrs. America. I saw something earlier today on TV that it had some good ratings and it's new on Hulu. I tried to get into my Netflix account, but apparently there are too many people watching it right now. So I couldn't even watch my own Netflix account. So then I switched over to Hulu. 
whatever. I don't care what I watch. Just so there's mindless dribble going on in the background of my room. Connie says, Zoom rocks. It really does. It was pretty cool. I actually um, got backgrounds, different backgrounds. So I was sitting on a beach with a little foo-foo drink right here. It was really cool. So, yeah. Yeah, our stay at home was um, extended to another month. Our schools announced today that they are shut down for the rest of the year. And uh, I know some kids that are pretty disappointed about that because they liked school. But hopefully we can get this under control. What I would really like to see, and I know this is being totally selfish, I want this weather to warm up and I want it to warm up now. <laughs> and I want that baby here because um, I would like to be out riding my bike and doing things that I can do all by myself. And I, it's cold out. I don't like to be cold. I'm sitting in here. My fingers are freezing right now. I'm usually cold anyways, but I like the really hot weather and I would just take 70 would be great. So, uh, Megan said, I hope you explained the Zoom rules. Mute on, pants, no going to the toilet on your device. You know, we didn't talk about the toilet. That's a good point. But I did, um, I do have the settings set so that when everybody comes on, they're already muted. And I made sure that we went through and they know how to mute themselves if I take them off of mute so that if their dog starts barking or whatever, they can mute themselves. I know how to share my screen from my computer onto the screen. I know how to make a person, the big person on the screen so that I'm hoping they can do demonstrations. Will be born on the 18th. Well, that's Saturday and today is the 16th because yesterday was my mom's birthday and I talked to her today and she loved her flowers and her balloon and her chocolates that I sent to her. I told her I have another gift for her but um, because I'm not going to the post office, I don't want to mail it because I'm sure that the package I just sent out to Mary is not the right postage. So anyways, you guys ready to stamp? Now Haley's got this whole basket filled with stuff here for me. And we talked about it extensively on what she was going to provide me to be able to make all of her beautiful, or her beautiful card. It is one card. And um, the sample also. So let me get all these stamps out and my embellishments out. And we'll be using blends. And you want to see all the dies? These are all the dies to make this card. We're going to be doing a little bit of it, but not much. She's prepared me quite well for this whole thing. Here's our stack of products. This is going to be your $2,000 card. No, I'm just kidding. But um, you can always substitute things that you have. But like I said, this is a pretty over-the-top card. And my friend Lori would put this in her 20-pound card class. So it's pretty cool. I better turn some lights on here because it's starting to get a little... Oh, and I'm having a hot flash. Huh. Too much information? Yeah. Whew. Okay. Are you guys ready to flip? I am going to flip you around. If you get motion sickness, please close your eyes. And here we go. I'll let you know in just a second when you can open again. I think I told you guys yesterday that my host code has changed. You will find that on my blog in the right-hand column, the current one at all times. So if somebody's coming in and watching this video in a month, this code will probably not work. But you can go to my blog, which is right here, and look in that right-hand column. And of course, I always appreciate your orders, you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me in business, especially during this quarantine, because um, in-person events aren't happening anymore. So this is my livelihood, and I do appreciate it. I am going to clean the stamp off here. We are going to be using the Ornate Garden Specialty Paper. And let me get out the bits and pieces here. Here's Haley's written instructions. Hang on, I gotta take my sweater off because I'm dying. I just told you my fingers are freezing, but I'm sweating my butt off. Don't worry, it won't go any place. Okay, here comes terracotta tile. We have eight and a half by five and a half. Let's try that again. Five and a half by eight and a half. You need two pieces. Then we're going to have some gold foil here. The gold foil is four by five and a quarter. We've got a whisper white layer for the inside that's four by five and a quarter. A piece of this beautiful paper that is five, whoops, three and three quarters by five. 
I've got some of our vellum. Let me grab that quick because a lot of people don't even know we have this. This is the Perennial Essence Vellum and it comes in three different colors. It's 12 by 12 sheets of vellum. We have Petal Pink. I think this is Blushing Bride and then Old Olive. So these are the three colors and you get a bunch of sheets. You guys know I don't know how many, right? Well, let's not lose that. You get 12 sheets, so four of each. Yeah, and it's pretty cool. It's by the rest of the um, specialty paper in our catalog. Or you can just type in Perennial Essence Vellum Cardstock. So we're going to be using the green for some leaves. And let me get that back in there. Whew, hotness. Okay, and this is our Ornate Garden specialty paper right here. Now, let me see if I can figure all this out. We are going to do some stamping. So, um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our paper cutter out. And I think Haley has my new paper cutter. Hang on, take a drink, I'll be right back. Hmm. Here it is. It was covered up by the catalogs. She's got her whole set of her own products over there so that she can, you know, do this. I like to see the clip along. <laughs> I'm kind of a slave driver like that. Okay, so we are going to take, now this is just eight and a half by 11 regular size card. We are going to cut a quarter inch off of the right side of our card. So I'm just gonna put this in strip off just like that how many of you have this new paper cutter oh okay there we go I don't know why that it said that my video was interrupted how many of you have this paper cutter because one thing that I've noticed people um, it doesn't it doesn't it like kind of sticks a little bit when you go to open it and it does that on purpose you guys but when you go to open this if you take this part right up here and and um, kind of pull it pull it up a little bit it opens up really nice but when you try to do this it kind of sticks that's because you're not supposed to open it that way you pull it, push it up push it up and it'll open right up for you so just a little tip help you out I always like to make things a little easier if people are struggling and I did at first too so okay so next thing we're gonna do we're gonna bring in a ruler now this is our front because we made it just a little bit smaller so we are going to find the center of our card, and here's a pencil. I'm just gonna put a mark here at two and three quarters. Now you can eyeball this if you don't need to be that precise, that's fine, okay? So I just put a little mark at two and three quarters, that's halfway, and then we're going to measure from the fold and mark it at two inches, and at the top and the bottom. Did I get a mark there? Yep, I did. Okay, so I'm going to bring that paper cutter back here. Oops. We're going to cut this at a diagonal. So I've got my mark two inches from the fold right here and my two and three quarter inch mark right here. So I'm just going to line that up in the channel and line this up in the channel and we're going to cut. Cut with a lot of confidence. Just slice it right through. <laughs> And do the same thing here. Here's two inches from the fold and we're gonna put that little tip right up here. And again, cut with a lot of confidence. Okay, I've got a little bit of a pencil mark here. I'm gonna erase that. I'm gonna erase this one and that little one. Okay, so this is what we have now. Let me get this out of the way. That's the hardest part. The rest of it is just fun. All right. Now, we need to cut some holes. So one thing I am going to do is I'm gonna take this layer right here and bring in the dies that Haley used to make this card. We've got this one. We've got our layering circle dies. If you don't have a set of layering circle dies, I highly recommend ours. Um, they're nestable, they stack together, they're super, super nice. And we are going to cut this one 
in the front of our card, just like this. So I'm just gonna center it right here. Let me bring my big shot in. Remember, I told you this card is a 20 pound card, meaning that it is quite elaborate, but you're gonna love it. I just know it. Uh oh, there's my other plate. Here's one. Hang on. Okay, so we're gonna do a little die cutting here. I'm gonna put this, can you guys see that? Yeah. I'm gonna put this right here, and we're just gonna die cut it kind of in the center of this layer. I know Haley's at home watching, and she, at one point she'll probably go, no mom, don't do that. But right now I'm pretty sure I've got this right. There we go. Okay, we're gonna die cut that. I'm just bringing it back so I can get it off of here easy. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Now we're going to, let's see, um, here they are. Oh, hmm. Da, 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 da. Next, we're going to take this piece and this piece. Okay, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to take this piece and this piece. We're going to glue this together and we're using the silver side or the silver, the gold side. Haley love, love, loves gold. So you see a lot of gold stuff. Her pages all have gold on them. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty too. We're going to add this to a gold layer and this gold layer is four and a four by five and a quarter. Okay, so we're going to do that now. We're gonna take this piece, this is gonna go on the inside and it's gonna lay right here. So it's gonna be like a layer on the inside of the card, not right here. I know Haley, I know, but um, we need to get a cutout in here. And, huh, interesting. Okay, I'm gonna take a pencil and I'm just gonna draw a little circle right here. You want to use a pencil that's got a good eraser that will erase nicely also. Oh, well, mine's really off center. <laughs> oh, well. Well, hers is better than mine, and, and we all knew that was going to be the case, didn't we? So I'm going to bring this in here, and I'm going to die cut this inside that circle. So, yeah. I'll show you hers when I'm done. It's going to be better. But you'll get the idea. Okay, so here we go. And that's die cutting through both of these layers. So now this is what we have here. Then you would take the a piece, a scrap of gold, which I don't have here, and you're gonna put these two dies on that gold and you're going to cut out a frame, just like this. The frame is gonna go on here. So that's, I think we're, I think we're good now. So hang on, let me move this out of the way. I can bring it back up if I need it again, but I think we can almost like start stamping and assembling. Yeah, I wish she could have stayed here to help me with this because look at how off center this is. It should be a little more in the center, but it's okay. It'll make sense. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of stamping in here. So that other piece of, um, Oh yeah, <laughs> this piece I need. I need this too, I need this to be die cut. So hang on just a second. This layer goes on the other card just like this. We're gonna die cut that too. Okay. That's probably why mine is so off center because I should have had that on here first. So we're gonna die cut this. You could glue those all together and then you just have to run them through two or three times so that they cut through all three layers, but they will. Okay, I think we're good. Yep. Okay, now we're ready. Now we're in business again. Major, not major, minor screw up on mom's part. Okay. Here comes this layer. Yep, perfect. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that I can glue this in place. How is everybody doing? My screen is not scrolling again with all of your comments. 
Here we go. So we're going to put this right on here so it matches up with the die cut that's there. Come on. There we go. Didn't want to move for me. Okay. So now we've got this and we've got this. And this card goes on the back. This card goes on the front. It's going to come together like this. Okay. Yeah. See, mine's a little off here because I should have glued this onto this part before I die cut it, but it'll be fine. All right. So once we do that, then we have this whisper white layer that's going to go on the inside of the card and it's going to go right here. So what I'm going to do, you could eyeball it and stamp it, but if you want to make sure it's in the right place, I am just going to do a little bit of a pencil mark on there. Can you guys see that? I think you can. Now we're going to do a little bit of stamping. I have Memento ink. And we're just going to stamp this flower. Just like that. Okay. And then, get that closed up. We're going to grab, oh, I still need that, sorry. We're gonna grab the So Grateful For All You Do, and we're gonna stamp that right at the top. Just like that, okay, Whew. did pretty good there. I'm gonna erase my little pencil mark, and again, like I said, make sure you use a nice pencil with a nice eraser, because sometimes you know how you have the erasers that when you go to erase with them, they leave marks all over, you don't want that kind. I have lots of those. <laughs> and I'm going to save this circle. I saw her throw her circle away earlier today, and I thought, oh, you should be saving that. So I'll probably go dumpster diving over in her trash can and get that out and keep it with my stamps. <laughs> That's what I do. Now we're going to bring our blends in and do a little bit of coloring. So I'm just going to do what I always do to that leaf with the darker old olive. And then I like to come in and go around the outside edges and then blend and then do that stem. Okay. And then we are going to go with the darker color here. And I'm just going to do some of the little hash marks that Stampin' Up! has provided us in the line art is always a good place to add, whoops, that was kind of curly, to add some shading. So that's kind of what I follow. It's like, you know, you're, I, I'm, at least I'm always unsure, like, oh geez, how do I shade? Because I'm not a, I'm not an artist artist. Like I couldn't draw this flower and make it look decent to save my butt. But I kind of go, I, I take Stampin' Up's lead on what they've done with the artwork and go from there. So now I'm just gonna go around and try to stay in the lines, see if I can be a good adult colorer. And then I'm gonna go over it and blend all these weird marks that just look kind of ridiculous right now. But that's the beauty of the blends is that you can then blend all this and you do look like a rock star. Okay. Okay, here we go. And just keep blending until it looks good to you. It's all in the eye of the beholder. Oh, I think that looks really nice. A little bit more right there and right there. There we go. Now, Haley didn't do this, but I'm going to. I am going to grab, what is this? This is my Dark Mango Melody. The yellow that's in this paper is the bumblebee, and we don't have that color yet. That's one of our new in colors, but I'm gonna make the center of that bumblebee. And then I'm gonna grab Wink of Stella. <clears throat> and she just cut left hers white, and I'll show it to you, of course, but I want mine to be yellow. There we go, just a little bit of wink in there. Okay, now we're ready to put this on the inside of our card. And this does open backwards, just like I've got it here. Okay, so that's what you're going to see coming through there. 
Then, let's find, where did those dies go? Here they are. So, you're going to take this die, and this is part of, if you ever find these bowing one way because you've used them a lot, just push them back. They're fine. I've never broken one by doing that. Of course, you don't want to, like, fold it in half or anything, but you can push them back and make them straight again. I took, Haley did this for me. She took and cut out a couple of those edgelet dies from the Ornate Garden on the gold foil paper, okay? She also, let's see, oh, sponged terracotta tile ink onto a piece of Whisper White because we didn't want dark terracotta tile. We, it's, this wasn't we, this was her. <laughs> um, so she wanted a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to sponge a little bit of terracotta tile onto a Whisper White scrap. Okay. And then we're going to, doo -doo -doo -doo, where's those flowers? In here. We're going to take the flowers that come in with the edgelet. Here are the flowers. There's three different flowers, so you're actually going to cut, die cut one, two, three, four, five, five flowers out of this paper, okay? Then once you do that, we're going to have little flowers. Oh, and as I'm looking at her flowers, she didn't just sponge the color, she kind of dabbed it. So let me show you that. She kind of did this to make it a little more speckled looking. I want to make sure you know how to do this because very light touch with my sponge. Okay. Just like that. And then the flowers look just like that. So we've got all these little flowers here. That's going to go on the front of our card. This frame we can put on the front of our card right here. So let's do that. And this is a trifold. So like I said, it's pretty darn fancy. Are you guys recognizing this at all? You know where I'm getting this from? I'll show you the original after I get this built. <laughs> I do, I feel like I'm building like something just amazingly fancy. Okay, then with these little pieces, we are going to glue them to the back side here, just like this. So right under where the dots are. And you want to make sure that you, she cut these longer so that you can um, have room to trim off the ends. So this one's going to go here. This one's going to come right in and go here. And I have to decide... She talked to me a little bit about how she did this part. Oh, I see how she did it. Okay. So she cut this kind of like a miter. Ready, Haley? Boom. Have no fear. Mama doesn't have any fear. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of glue right here. And notice that I, when I say a little, I mean really a little. You don't need a lot of glue to glue this down. I'm going to add this right here like this. And I just want to quickly get this in here and make sure it's going to look okay. And it is. Yay. She told me she mitered the edges and it worked really well. Here comes the other side. Yep, there we go, you guys. It fits like almost perfectly in there, so it's pretty cool. What she did, look at the look at the tip up here. Now I see I've got one little jagged edge sticking out here. And I'm just gonna trim that off. Oh my gosh, I love it. That looks really cool. Okay, then we're gonna trim these, whoops, these ends off. Boom. And I'm going to be a little more careful with this one. There we go. Just like that. Look at that. Isn't that like totally fancy? Okay. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to get that piece of vellum out here. And I'm using the leaf punch. 
and we're going to punch some leaves out of the old olive vellum. Sometimes it gets um, hard to get out of there because the paper moves and then it's sticking up. You know what I mean? Okay, so there's our leaves. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to use our scissors and make them do what we want them to do. So I just cut two leaves off of there. And I am going to... Haley, did you use mini glue dots? I think you did. She asked me for mini glue dots today. I gave her her own roll. She actually meant mini dimensionals at the time too, so I have lots of those. No regular size dimensionals, I'm out of those, but I got lots of minis. How does that even happen? So we're just gonna go through here and add some of these leaves to the back of the flowers. And see, these are the mini dimensionals I gave her. And then we're gonna do that. So we got a mini dimensional and two leaves on each one of these flowers. So this is gonna take me a little bit because I didn't have her do this ahead of time. I thought, well, geez, we don't wanna like run through this whole thing like lickety split, right? And then I wouldn't have any time with you. And I'd have to spend the rest of the time babbling. <laughs> Which is kind of fun, but sometimes I'm sure it can get on your nerves. <laughs> Where'd my glue dots go? Right here. So yeah, mini glue dots work good, and I and I like them especially with the um, <clears throat> vellum, because vellum eh, it's kind of weird with glue, you know. There we go. There's another set of flowers. Hang on while I adjust my crown that's falling off my head. There's another flower. Here comes some more. <laughs> Sue likes my, my use of words, babbling. Yeah, well, you know, blah, blah, blah. I could do a lot of that. I could do a lot of talking and, but I usually say a lot when I'm talking. It's not like I'm just droning on, right? <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a bonus. Okay, here comes. Oh, look at how cute that is. I love that. Okay. Oh, I'm getting hungry too. What what are we having for supper? Oh, look at Cindy got busy cooking chicken pot pie. That sounds really good, Cindy. That was something that my mom used to um, heat up. I'm not going to say she made it because she just heated it up. My mom was a great cook, don't get me wrong. But um, she used to make, heat up those little chicken pot pies that you can buy at the grocery store. That was something that we ate a lot when we lived in Missouri. And then when we moved back to Wisconsin, we never had them, and I don't know why. Because they have them here. We have those here in Wisconsin. I've never made a homemade chicken pot pie. I really don't like to cook, so that seemed like it would be a lot. <laughs> like, it would be a lot for me to do that, but I have bought them at the deli at Festival Foods and eaten them. Mm, love them. Delicious. Okay, and a dimensional. You need, like I said, you need five of these flowers. Here's the last one. And I'm just going to grab some of my little castaway, my little castaway leaves here from the ones that I punched. But pot pie sounds good. Okay, here we go. Video back to my page, right? Because everybody's, you know, sometimes people are busy. Well, we're not too busy right now, but... What have you been doing, Tanya? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what caused you to be late? We all have nothing to do. Well, except make pot pies. That sounds good. Okay, so here we go. I also want to tie a bow. So we've got this gold-edged ribbon, which of course matches all of our gold stuff perfectly, right? So... Haley chose this to tie a ribbon, and we're going to add this to our card front. And I'm just going to manipulate, manipulate it a little bit and make it nice and cute and little. There we go. Okay. Here we go. And of course, I haven't cleaned my scissors yet, so they're all full of glue and don't cut very good. I'll grab the big Cowabunga Daddy scissors. Those things are, I could probably 
defend myself with them. I was going to say kill somebody, but that sounds horrible. <laughs> I could defend myself with those scissors. That sounds better, doesn't it? Okay, so we're going to put this right over here on the edge. And then we're going to start adding these cutie patootie little flowers. And I'm going to put one right here. And another one right up here. And one of the teeny weeny ones. Oh, she only put one leaf on that one. There, one leaf. <laughs> easy. That was easy to solve. One right here. And this is another small one. We're going to put one... Um, I'm going to take one of these leaves off. Oops, and the dimensional. I wasn't paying, I got a little carried away with the leaves. I wasn't paying attention. Haley's probably at home going, Mom, one leaf, what are you doing? Look at what I made. <laughs> I can hear her. I can hear her going to Jared. I knew she'd screw this up. <laughs> it's quite funny. Okay, then. The Gilded Gems. I don't know if I have ever used any other embellishment more than I've been using these, except for perhaps the um, rhinestones, just like regular rhinestones, but I use a ton of these gems. I've really enjoyed them. So we are going to take gems and, oops, wrong tool. Oh, got the wrong end in there. I want my spatula end out here. And I'm just going to, I'm not done yet. We got some more decorating to do here. Maybe. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> okay. So we're going to take these and put them. Oh, that isn't working so good. Hang on. I got it on there too far. Put these in the center of our flowers. And this is just really going to bling that up. I'm going to try my... There we go. I'm using my putty end now. The other end was just wasn't working as well. Here comes another one. And another one. Just that. We have another flower here, so I'm going to add another gilded gem to it. Right in the middle there. Okay. And then... We're going to put a couple little ones. Those are all medium sized ones. We're going to put little ones right here and here. Isn't that, isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, so pretty. Cynthia says beef noodles, beets, cottage cheese, and homemade biscuits. Oh, I love homemade biscuits. I'm so jealous. All right, next. This last flower is going to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this together now. I think I can do that now. So I'm gonna add some glue to the back here. Your card goes in, it opens this way, and it's gonna go right in here. I'm just gonna hold it and stack it up like this to make sure that everything is in there where it belongs and it's even. I got a little bit of glue oozing out there. Hang on while I wipe that on my clothes. You guys know that I do that, right? Look at that. Okay, this last little flower right here is going to go right over here. You want to make sure you keep your dimensional away from the layer that is closed, but look at it tucks under. This tucks under that flower and will keep your card closed. So that's pretty cool, right? Now, one other thing Haley wanted to add to this is using the hand lettered prose dies. Okay, so she die cut the word hero. And this is actually the card that she is going to take with her to the hospital when she has baby Weedley and give to the people that are there to have, help her have her baby. So aren't they going to be just like, holy cow. Okay, so we've got the word hero. Now I asked Haley to do it for me 
in white and in terracotta tile. And so I keep wanting to make that a Y, but it's an H. Here we go. Here, and where's the O? Uh-oh, did I lose the O? I probably lost the O. Oh, nope, I see it right here. So we've got hero, and I wasn't sure if we wanted to put it right here on the front. That's why I asked her to do the orange one, or if we should fit it right in here. And I don't know, I think that's getting gobbled up by the flowers. What do you guys, I don't think I like that. I don't think I like it. Nope, we'll save that for another day. We are going to do hero on the front of the card. And this is going to go to doctors, nurses, put out in the nurse's station, whatever she decides to do with it. I know when Steve was in the hospital a couple years ago, he spent a lot of time in the hospital. He was in the ICU for a while, and um, I took a card and gave it to one of the nurses, and they put it at the nurse's, like, their main station and it was there like the whole time that he was there they loved it like it was on proud display it was a really nice card but I just wanted to thank them for doing such a wonderful job taking care of him so yeah and here comes our R I love having the um hand lettered prose dies because you can do like she's been using these for scrapbooking you can do so many things with them you can personalize so many different things that I just love that whoops I just put glue all over that side and let's see oh yeah she did it this way okay this one's going to stick over just a little bit but that's okay because it's white it really pops nicely the other thing that I know she's probably yelling at me, going, oh, I knew she'd forget to do that, is add a little bit of Wink of Stella to your flowers. You should have done this before you put them on, but I forgot. So I'm going to do it now. No foul, no harm, no foul. It's fine. It's just easier to color them when they're not on the card front, right? Can I get this one? I don't know if we got that one. There we go. Okay. Oh, you guys, I think I did it. Are you ready? So, here we go. That doesn't look terrible off to the side like that. How beautiful is this? Like, it is so beautiful. And this tucks right under that little flower. I should have um, used my bone folder a little bit better. Oh, this H is sticking off the end. Just to make it fit, we're just going to clip it. So, Here's the original card that Haley made, and she did do a better job than me. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Isn't that oh so pretty? So, so pretty. And here is the original card that we got. Remember this little jewel? Yeah. This was from Marilyn Perrin, Perrin from Prince George, British Columbia, Canada, for Baby Weedley. And again, hers tucks in right there just like that also. And then Haley designed this based on Marilyn's layout with the Ornate Garden bundle. So don't forget, when you order this um, product suite from me, you get an online class for free and a pre-cut cardstock pack. So there's a lot of benefits to ordering this from me. And you can order the whole suite. It's $136.75 with just one item code. Now, I know I talked about this before, but in case somebody missed it, I'll just give you a little rundown on it. When you order this whole suite for $136.75, if you can push that before tax and shipping number up to $150, I recommend that you add gold foil paper. Okay, that's the gold foil. It matches the designer paper because there's some gold foil accents in here. I recommend that you order one or two packs of those and also get an extra pack of the Ornate Garden Specialty Designer Series paper so you don't have to be chintzy with it when you're creating cards. It's a problem. I know. I used to do it. Now I just order two packs of paper. But you're going to get two different stamp sets and dies. You're going to get the Gilded Gems, the Ornate Ribbon, the Ornate Floral Embossing Folder, 
the paper, another set of dies with a stamp set. Yeah, there's just a ton of stuff. Plus, you get an online class for free and a pre-cut cardstock pack to make nine cards. No, 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 that's wrong. Twelve cards and a box for four cards. So it's eight cards plus a box with four cards. So you get 12 cards. All that's in the pre-cut cardstock pack. Now, you've already ordered the ornate suite, um, and you just want to get the online class and the pre-cut cardstock, you can do that. If you only want the online class because you already have your own card stock, you can do that. There's three different options. You will find all that information on my blog. In the right-hand column is a button that says online classes. And when you click on that, scroll down until you find the ornate specialty. And um, you'll see all the details for it. But online classes are really fun. I, I have all of my videos done for the classes. It's pre-order period right now, but I will have those videos and the entire online class ready to go out in an email tomorrow. So that's really exciting. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm kind of pretty impressed with this, right? I think that this is beautiful, and I think that the people at the hospital are going to know that you are very talented, my dear. They're going to go, are you kidding me? I'm going to have her do an envelope flap, too, I think. Um with the uh, foil paper so that she has a matching envelope. But yeah, Marilyn, thank you so much for this. This layout just made me go, oh my Lord, what are we gonna do with that? And then I gave it to Haley today and away she went. She just kind of went crazy with it. So, so very, very pretty. Now, I wanna ask you guys, if I missed any questions that you didn't get answered, please ask them now because um, I am looking at my screen right now and I will be able to answer you. I'm going to turn my phone around. Close your eyes. We're going to flip so that I'm not talking to the back of your head. So you know I don't like that. Ooh, my goodness, I'm kind of a mess. <laughs> I'm still pretty warm though. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, my phone stopped scrolling so long ago. Let me see if I can get it caught up. Okay. Whoops. Everything went away. There we go. Okay. So here we go. I'm looking at my screen here. What's on the kangaroo's tummy? It's a heart. That's a great question. See? It's just a little heart. It's a it's a uh, dazzling diamonds glimmer paper heart. And it's it's got a dimensional behind it, but I think she cut a little slit in the pouch and tucked it right in there. All of these flowers are also dazzling diamonds. I don't know if you can really see that, but all the flowers on here are dazzling diamonds too. But isn't that just the sweetest? The little little heart in the in the kangaroo's pouch? Yeah. And I know that kangaroos are marsupials because koala koalas are not bears. They're marsupials. <laughs> and that's just an inside joke from a while ago when they had all the fires in Australia. I got yelled at. So there you have it. Kangaroos and koalas are marsupials. Koalas are not bears. Even though five minutes later I was watching the news and they told how they were carrying the baby koala bears into the hospital for koala bears. I don't know. Whatever, right? It's okay. We laughed about it. But yeah, I kind of got my butt handed to me over that one. It was funny. So, does anybody have any questions that I missed? Joe says, how am I doing? I'm doing great. Um, you know, I don't have any kids in school other than the grandkids. And Well, let's be real. I'm not taking care of them. <laughs> and um, I don't have any kids in school, so none of that affects me. And I'm kind of a home buddy to begin with. I would really like to go visit my mom. Um, and, you know, maybe at some point when we're feeling like things are safe and everybody's been isolating and not going any place or not like putting themselves or other people in danger, we, we just might do that. We have a camper. I have a summer home. It's really a camper, but I call it my summer home because that's fancy. I have a summer home and it is parked at my mom's house. And I thought, you know, that would be nice to take that and, um, take it out in the woods. We have a, we have a generator. 
We could go park out in the woods where there's no people. We don't have to go to a campground. We're pretty self-sufficient that way and go camping. But what are you going to do when you're camping? Like there's nothing. I don't know. Who knows? But anyways, I'm fine, Joe. Thank you for asking. Or Chris, Is it Joe or Chris? I think it's Joe. Thank you for asking. Um, I'm just fine. Um, I want warm weather. I, 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 me, 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 I, I. <laughs> that's what I want. <laughs> I, it is Joe. Okay, that's what I thought. I'm like, oh, then I confused myself. I want it to be warm. I want to be in my swimming pool. And I want this to be over because I need a vacation. And otherwise, I'm fine. Look at, look at my hair. What happened? Look at that. <laughs> and then things get a little silly, like right now. <laughs> or when Steve came in here and told me, and then I was talking to the car. I'm sitting in my car. I'm talking to it. And, <laughs> and it's just like laugh, 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 laugh. So I don't know when I'll get pictures of this up because when I'm done here, I'm going out to the garage. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Oh, um, Kathleen had a question. Kathleen, what was your question? Haley just asked, what is your question? I am waiting. We should all go camping together. No, Chris. Joe. <laughs> no, Joe. We can't go camping together because of the corona. <laughs> There's no camping during the corona. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Veronica says, thanks for daily cards. Makes... Hang on. Somebody just butted in line. Make something to look forward to. You brighten our days. You're very welcome. You guys brighten my day, too. I um, I love interacting with all of you and finding out what's going on, what everybody's having for supper. Please don't forget to share my video. I completely forgot about that. Please share my video. That really helps me out. Oh, oh, Joe says when all this is over, we should go camping. We should do a lot of things when this is over. Like, I am going to do my part to build our economy back up by shopping and eating lunch out a lot. <laughs> and maybe a vacation and... <laughs> oh, Melanie's asking where she can post a simple stamping card. You want to post that on your own personal Facebook page, Melanie. And this is why. And when you post it, you can just say something like, I made this card today. And then you're going to type hashtag simple stamping, all one word, all lowercase. Stampin' Up, you, that's, and if you already know this, I'm sorry, but um, you anybody can do a search for hashtag simple stamping, and it'll bring up a whole bunch of picture, pictures in a Google search of anybody who's used that hashtag. Stampin' Up, when you do that, is going and doing that like once a week and then giving out prizes. I won! I did a simple stamping card, and I and I put with it hashtag simple stamping. You can't put it in a private group, though. You could put it on a pub. You can put it on your public profile, but like our team group, it won't work in there because nobody can see that except our team members. Like Stampin' Up can't search for it because it's private. But you just put it on your Facebook page. You can also load it up with that hashtag on Instagram. Um, yeah, any public place. If you belong to any stamping groups on Facebook, you can put it in there and put the hashtag simple stamping. But yeah, that's a really good question. Thank you, Jeannie says, beautiful card. Thank you so much. Cynthia doesn't know how long their schools will be closed in West Virginia. And what am I having for supper? Hmm, that's a great question. I don't know. I don't know what I'm having for supper. Um, Steve made stir fry, but then he ate all the rice. Yeah. So I had to eat it without anything, which was fine, but it would have been better with rice. Oh, and you guys might know this. He asked me, he's like, if your rice is kind of clumpy, does that mean you overcooked it? And I said, hmm, I don't really know. I don't know. Um, so you guys tell me, does that mean that it's overcooked if it's clumpy? Oh, Tanya had Russia's burgers. Keep the cold, please. You don't have to share it with me in Illinois. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. I want the cold to go away. And yeah, sure. I am not sitting on the big rubber exercise ball. That is a good way to hurt yourself. And that's a lot of work. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> but thanks for suggesting it. Uh, oh, I see Anne Marie is here. Hi, Anne Marie. Where are the black dims are? Are you looking for dimensionals, Pamela? If 
you're talking about black dimensionals, I think you might be. You just go to the online store and you type in black dimensionals and they'll pop right up. Um, I have some. Oh, I almost dropped my bottle. Hang on. I have some here. Let me grab them. Yeah, you can just do a search for those words. Um, black Stampin' Dimensionals Combo Pack and the item code is 150893. But you just type in black Stampin' Dimensionals. They'll pop right up. We don't really need item codes anymore, and I'm glad because ugh, the only item code I have ever, ever, ever memorized in all my 16 years is Whisper White Cardstock is 100730. Boom. <laughs> 16 years it took me, you guys. I can remember that. Oh, I'm missing more comments. Um, what can I do to get notified you are on? Okay, Debbie, that's a really good question. So when we're done here, you're going to click on the name of my page, which is a stamp above dash your creative coach. That's going to take you to my page, which is where you came to watch this video. And at the top of my page is a like button. Now, if you're on a phone, it's going to be different. You're just going to have to dig around. You're going to find out where you can like my page. And then if you're on a computer, next to that is notifications. When you click on that, a drop down menu comes up. You click on see first. And that will, then your phone will tell you when I'm live. That's how it works. Now, um, yeah, on a phone it's different, but that's how it is on my computer. Oh, here's another one. Jackie, too, says she predicted Haley's baby's going to be born on Saturday. Get busy, sister. <laughs> I know. Oh, Helen made stir fry. Did you make rice with your stir fry, Helen, and not eat it all? Because <laughs> I didn't get any rice. Yeah, it was, um, what did he make? Oh, it was, and it was shrimp stir fry. And he put the zest of a lemon that my friend Denise brought back from Arizona from a tree she picked it off of. How cool is that? Yeah. And Nancy, you're welcome about the simple stamping. Yes. The only, the only thing is people don't, people, people have a hard time grasping the idea that you have to put it on a public place. Like, even if you put it in the demonstrator planning place, if you're a demonstrator, that's a web, that's a Facebook page for demonstrators. That's a private group. Only people that belong to that group can see anything, and therefore Stampin' Up! Search will not produce that, even though they own that Facebook page, you know? Um, you have to put it, like, on your own profile or your own Instagram account. If you have a blog, you can put it on there, too, but it has to be a public place where somebody can do a search for it. And Gilmore said, yes, rice is overcooked if it's clumpy. Thank you very much. I will tell Steve that because, you know, he's kind of a new cooker. <laughs> and he doesn't know all the things. And I don't know. I never really thought about it. I didn't think about clumpy rice. I guess I really don't care. I'll eat clumpy rice. I'm not picky. I'm just grateful to have somebody to cook for me because I really hate cooking. But today I was looking at his mom used to make this like Susie Q cake. And it's like a chocolate cake, and then you cut it lengthwise, and then you put the white filling in it, like a Susie Q. You remember the Susie Qs? They're like them little, kind of like little Twinkies, but they're like a little sandwich deal. I wanted to make some of those. And we have an Atchison family cookbook that was put together many years ago. And, um, um, it wasn't in there. I couldn't find the recipe. So I went on Pinterest and found it immediately. So I want to make some of those. I like to bake. I don't like so much to cook. And I like to make party food. Like dips and taco platters and, you know, stuff like that. I enjoy that, but I don't really like cooking. Oh, and sticky rice results from the starch in it. Um, Amy, did he rinse it? No, he, we don't, no, we don't, no. Before he cooked it, right? I don't think so. I've never rinsed rice. I didn't know that. See, I learn a lot from you guys, too. The starch makes it stick together. R rinse it off after you cooked it? I'll be darned. Never did that. There is only one size of glue dots. Lisa is correct. We only have mini glue dots. I had an omelet yesterday, Denise. I put onions and cheese in it. It was delicious. Steve, this morning for breakfast, he made scrambled eggs and ham and toast. Mm. I haven't eaten since then, so my 
my Optavia coach Bev is going to yell at me. I did have some jalapeno cooked, kettle cooked chips. Does anybody else like really hot stuff like that? I had some of these. They make my eyes water. That you like get a little spice stuck in your throat and my eyes will start watering. And I, yet I still continue to eat them. <laughs> Tanya wants to know, is Stampin' Up! doing a special on joining anytime soon? We don't know. I haven't heard anything. Um, but they oftentimes will pop things at us like with no notice. So I have no idea. Yeah, Jean, you're not probably going to find the DSP sheets on my blog because they're from a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago, but I'd say at least a couple months ago. If you go to my if you go to my um YouTube channel and click on go to Kelly Atchison, look for Kelly Atchison on YouTube and then go to click on videos. Once you get to my page, click on videos. All my cover photos for my videos will come up. And you'll see the DSP page on those. There's a couple with that in the picture, but there's one. It's a wait what Wednesday tip video, and it looks like, you know, it has the whole page on there. Just scroll down until you locate it. And if you want to, you can probably email me, and I have the link someplace. Oh, Pat knows that one, too. 100730, that's Whisper White. Yes, simple stamping is with a G at the end. Thank you for asking that, Haley. It's simple, hashtag simple stamping. Lots of people telling me to rinse rice. I have never heard of that in my life. Ever. Does Haley have a blog? No, she does not. And we've talked about her being a demonstrator, but here's the deal. She just started teaching like last week. A year ago last fall and um, so she's in her second year of teaching so she thought she better get a handle on that and get that under control because those of you that are teachers you know exactly what I'm saying but they work a ton of hours outside of school it's crazy actually and you know I, I get a little annoyed and I've always felt this way I had no teachers in my family even before Haley went to school to be a teacher of people that are complaining <laughs> about how they get paid too much money and they only work nine months out of the year. Are you crazy? Like, are you completely insane? <laughs> you don't even know what those teachers put up with. Like, it's, it's horrible. And they deserve every penny they're making and they deserve three months off so they can keep their sanity. And I think everybody that is staying home with their children right now are having a whole new respect for those teachers. <laughs> That's what I believe. So anyways, probably more than you wanted to know. I got off on a little tangent there. <laughs> Chicken stir fry. It kicked up with, oh, cayenne pepper. I always say that wrong. But yeah, I like making party food. How close are you to your million? Let me look. I haven't looked in a couple days. Hang tight. I will check that out right now. Uh, hang on, my computer's running a little slow because I'm probably because I'm streaming. All right, Haley, I do not yet. Yeah, when is the right time in my life? And I have, to, yeah, that's what that's what I was saying. That she decided it wasn't a good time. She needed to get the whole teaching thing under control, which she has done now. So that's great. But um, then she got pregnant, and you know, that needs to take a front seat, right? Okay. Oh well, I see. I got another bonus. <laughs> It's a happy day. Hang on, I'm looking for, oh, I gotta go to activity detail. Um, yeah, I'm about six grand away from my next my next 10,000, so I got a ways to go to hit that. You guys can help me out with that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not. <laughs> I wish I was, but I'm not, yeah. So, okay. Oh, and Patricia uses a steamer. You know what? We had one of those. Like, somebody gave us one for Christmas, and it sat in the basement for several years, and then I got rid of it. Um, Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to let you guys go because I'm getting really hungry, and I might, I may or may not have to pee. Just saying. And, um... Jean, um, pop me an email. 
we'll figure it out with the DSP charts. But they are on my YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah, everybody saying, get a rice cooker. It turns out perfect. I had one and I just got rid of it because it just sat down there collecting dust. Okay. Yeah, Sherry says her daughter is a special ed teacher and she wouldn't do that for twice the money. Nope. Thank you, Nancy says, thank you for defending teachers. My husband was a teacher for 30 years. God bless you. You know, I shouldn't say this because this is not very nice, but... Haley's going, Mom, don't do it. Don't do it. So, you th think about, I'm going to try to be really nice about this. Think about all the parents that are at home whining because they're stuck at home with their own kids and they can't stand it. I don't understand that. I'd have been thrilled to death to have my kids here full time, off school, but whatever. But those parents can't even handle their own kids, but yet you expect teachers to do it and not really make very much money. And then you complain that they get their summers off. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I've always felt that way. You remember, I don't know if you guys know this, but in Wisconsin, they took away a whole bunch of benefits from state workers. Like our state workers got lots of like amazing benefits, 100% paid health insurance and all that stuff. When they broke the union, they did that. And um, people were like, they shouldn't have all that. No, no, no. Nobody, the, here was their big thing. Nobody else gets benefits like that. And I know I didn't work for the state. I had no stake in that whatsoever, you know. But just my opinion was they got a good job. They worked and got themselves into a state paid job. And I know a lot of people that would go after a job like that because the benefits were amazing. We all knew that. So my opinion was good for them. Good for them for getting that good state paid job. I could have gotten a state paid job. I could have worked towards that, but I didn't. So it's the people, it's the people that are like, well, if I can't have it, they can't either. It's like, no, that's not fair. That's not how America works. Stop your belly aching. And I feel the same way about the teachers because I hear the stories, you guys, and it is, I could never be a teacher. I would get arrested. <laughs> I know I would. I would go to jail. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm going to end with that. So thank you very much. Joe says, congratulations on your bonus. Thank you very much. I love bonuses. We call it green pie. And we get to see a pie chart when we log into our reports. And when I see the green pie, makes me happy. All right, you guys, I'll be back again tomorrow. I hope you have a wonderful evening. I'm sorry if I missed any of your questions. And um, choices, Monica says, we all have choices. That's right. <laughs> Good night, you guys. Thanks for sticking with me. Bye-bye.